it's a good one today. We're down in the uh, the teens for a temperature Fahrenheit. That is like 15 degrees, I think. So it should be a good solid back and bicep day. The view is a little, a little cloudy out there. Sorry about the view of my forehead there. Got a bird just chilling up there. Just hanging. Living their best life. All right. Time to check the weight. Very exciting. Let's see what we got. Circle around here. Food. Probably two and a half meals, I would say. So um, we'll see. 0.8. Okay. Not bad at all. Double check that. Because I am working out about two hours earlier than I normally would. 0.8. Cool. All right, that is excellent. So we're holding steady around the 208. Gives me hope for 208.5 or 208.6 you know, or something like that tomorrow. But let me uh, let me show you the workout. Day 128, body weight 207.8. Very happy about that. Chin-ups 110 for 6 plus, then we'll go 90. Then we'll go 70, some single arm pull down, three sets, and then some seated curl. And might do one more bicep thing. We'll see how the time is. I'm going to try doing the double dumbbell row or the heavier on the lower back movement on Tuesday because um, after Tuesday, I've got Wednesday, Thursday to recover for deadlifts. If I do anything really heavy on the lower back today, I don't have as long. Well, actually, I don't have, I don't have any time to recover before squats. And although it always feels fine, I think maybe I'm, I'm fatiguing you know, some of the muscles that I use when I do back squats. So I'm going to try this approach and see if, uh, see if back squats are better tomorrow. All right, here we go. <sighs> All right, first working set here. Um, hopefully, done six a couple times now. Um, if I get six again, that's okay, but would like to get seven, even if this, the seventh one is a little sketchy, just to start to chip away there. <sighs> All right. Let's see. A little tougher today. We'll get a, a redemption set with the 90 after this. All right, time for a little bit of a redemption set because that first set was not, it was okay, but that six rep was, was super short. So hopefully eight here. We'll see. Down to down to down twenty pounds, so that, that should help. I'm not just trying the same weight again. a little more where it should be I guess with the chin-ups I probably need to do an extra warm-up set now because I just do a couple reps body weight and then like a rep or two to 45 and then I go into it but with for 90 pounds that's fine but now I'm kind of stretching the uh, weight increase you know going up 65 instead of 45 so maybe I need to do another warm-up set 
we'll see. All right, so we'll do one more set, 70 pounds, and then on to the pull downs. I haven't done 70 in a bit, so I just put down 10 because it seemed reasonable if I could get seven or eight with a 90 that drop another 20 pounds, hopefully 10. And then uh, after this, we'll do the uh, pull downs and seated curls and hopefully mission not tire out the lower back will be successful but we'll find out tomorrow all right Tough stuff's done. All right, easy pull downs. Um, nothing crazy here, just burning out. I'll try this band instead of the other one, just to see if the resistance feels, the resistance curve feels better or anything like that. Lower back, well, like I said, the dumbbell rows, it never, the double dumbbell rows, it never bothers them. Um, or I'm sorry, the uh, the rows never bother it. So I don't know. I just don't think that the back tiredness is necessarily from deadlifts because I've got roughly 48 hours of recovery and I'm only doing one set of deadlifts, which although challenging, in my mind doesn't seem like it could really be enough to... Um, like completely tire out the back. It's it's been enough to to grow, you know, but not like I did five sets of the deadlift. So I don't know. We'll see. Besides the deadlift, you know, you space out or you spread out the muscles that are getting worked. The uh, double dumbbell row spread out a little bit, but. The main focus, obviously, is the uh, is the back, and I've seen really good gains with it. So I don't want to just let it go by the wayside. I think I'm just going to switch it around, um, do it a different day. I know a couple people commented seal row, and I don't have a way to do that here. So for now, uh, you know, it's going to be stuff like this. And I've talked before about why I don't. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, single arm dumbbell row at a certain point. Like once you get up and over 100 pounds, that's when I think a little less effective because um, there's just too much twisting that's going on. And anybody I see doing super heavy dumbbell rows, I don't know, the form tends to be pretty, pretty garbage. And, you know, maybe they're just doing it for a social media thing. Like, oh, look, I can row the, you know, the 200-pound dumbbell. But it just looks awful. So that was, that was why I switched to the uh, double dumbbell row. You know, less weight, more control. Let me give it a second, then I'll get the last one. More control, you know, slower progression. Yeah, we'll see, though. If I can get... If I get 365 tomorrow on the squat for uh, 8 to 10, then I think I'll continue on with this approach for back day where I'm doing, you know, just upper back only stuff and no lower back getting used. I like these. Certainly easier to get set up for. They're also just easier in general, though, so... That makes me think maybe they're not as good, but we'll see. I'm going to finish this up, and we'll do some curls. <sighs> that was 
twenty ish. I lose count when I try and talk and count at the same time. Gotta pick one. That's ten. Definitely get a good burn from these though. More of a pump blood flow exercise. Okay. All right. Cool. <sighs> On to some curls with the 60s, which I'm excited about. Breaking through with those 60s. Crushers, curls. <sighs> yeah, good stuff. All right. All right, 60s. Hopefully I'm in the frame here. Can't really... No, I can't shift. Yeah, we'll see about this. Did the crushers with them. So if I can keep these two relatively the same, that would be cool. All right, enough talk. I don't think I'm going to get six. We'll take five. <laughs> Felt decent about the form, though, which is the most important thing. So we'll do drop down set. I'll <sighs> just give it like 15, 20 seconds, and then we'll go for it. And then that's probably it for today. I know not a, not a huge amount for uh, biceps, but every set of chin ups and every set of pull downs, I'm also working the biceps. So by the time I get to the curls, I've already done six working sets, four to six, depending on the day um, of bicep stuff. So it's all about how you, how you look at it. Same principle with bench, triceps. You know, by the time I get to the triceps, I've already done, you know, at least three good sets that work the triceps pretty well. And also triceps get hit on shoulder day. I mean, they get a good amount of work, so... That's my thought process there. All right. Drop down. 42s. 12. What was I thinking? I think I was thinking I was going to spread the sets out. All right, a little bonus. I'm going to do another drop down set with the uh, 22s. And that'll be it. Solid one today, though. Day 128. What a journey. It actually feels like I basically just started. Um, once you get in the habit of doing something, after a while, you don't even have to, you don't have to think about it, really. You know, that's the old, whole idea of building a habit with working out. If you do it enough days in a row, eventually it just becomes second nature. And you don't even have to motivate yourself, really. It's just time to work out, you know. That's, I feel like, optimal, you know, where you want to be at. Like, it, yeah, I mean, you definitely, it's definitely good to feel motivated. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you don't want to have to rely on, you know, a sudden burst of positive motivation to get yourself to work out every time. 
Um, you want to be at the point where, you know, you get motivated, but you're just working out because you're in a good rhythm and your body expects it and you're used to doing it. So you don't have to convince yourself. Um, you know, you just, you just do it. It's just built in. So that's my, my thought about that. Because the motivation won't always be there. A lot of times motivation actually comes afterwards. Like, you know, somebody's trying to lose weight. More than likely, they're going to feel more motivated once they've lost 20 pounds, not at the beginning. So that's where just building it, building the habit pays off. That way you're not relying on the motivation. But I'd like to hear people's thoughts about that. That's my thought. I'll throw some partials in there for you. Okay. Oh, all right. That's it for today. We're going to go fuel up. So hopefully we can knock, knock on the, the door of 210 for body weight. But hopefully your day is going well. And hopefully you're about to work out. Every day is a good day to work out, at least in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Back feels good. So I think mission was accomplished with the uh, not trying to tire out the lower back. So squats should be solid tomorrow. Get some more meals in. And um, yeah, that's it for today. Is there something else? No, I don't think that was it. All right, well, enjoy the rest of the day. Make sure to hydrate. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.